without a doubt these past three years i've been suffering suffering like no one else in the dead by daylight community it's been three years since i lost my legacy that precious beautiful skin that everyone wants i fucked up i fucked up real hard stop playing with me stop playing with me look at this 1.6 million 1.6 million if you don't got this watch right here you're a little boy to me i'll kiss you on your forehead you're a little boy <clears throat> let's go let's just play some dead by daylight All right, let's just cut to the chase. Back in early 2017, finding games in Dead by Daylight was so difficult. So one of my friends told me about an app called Steam Achieve Manager. There were so many more players that used that app, but I'm not gonna be a bitch about it and throw them under the bus. One of my old friends was the one that actually showed me the app and also used it, but I'm not gonna be a bitch and throw him under the bus. And with that third party app, you can change your rank to whatever you want. So I was in the red ranks, but it was impossible to find any games at all back in the day. The queue times were like 30, 20 minutes long so i was like fuck it let me just lower my rank to like rank 12 or something like that to be able to find lobbies so much quicker which actually worked and we found lobbies so much quicker and in that span of time i changed my rank from 1 to 12 to 13 to 15 and all of that just to find lobbies so much quicker than usual but there's one more thing with steam achievement manager that you can do you can actually change your achievements and oh boy this is where i fucked up my dumb ass by mistake <coughs> pressed on a button which automatically got rid of all of my achievements. So I had zero achievements at all in my profile. And at the 27th of March, 2017, I got my first ban. So I reached out to the developers, asked them if they could resolve this issue because back then from my point of view, it wasn't justified that I lost everything in the game just because I changed my rank. But right now, let's just be honest, it's justified because I cheated in the game, which is against the rules. But yeah, after that, the developers unbanned me, but it started a wave of people coming out saying, oh, why did he get unbanned? Why don't you unban me? And because of that, they banned me again two days later at the 29th March 2017. So yeah, that was the day I lost my legacy. I lost all of my precious legacy. Like it's gone now forever. I can never use it ever again, which is pretty sad, you know, but it is what it is. It's not that deep. It's just a skin in a game, you know, it's just cosmetics at the end of the day. But if I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys, like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I miss, I miss the old skins. Like sometimes I think about it, but like, damn, imagine if I had the legacy back, man, that would be so insane. But you know, it's gone now forever you can't do anything about it it's a rip you know but yeah it was fun times while it lasted you know but you know we're still grinding right now we're back at it again even though we don't have the best the most beautiful skins in the game and this is the reason why i don't buy any skins in dead by daylight nor i change my outfit it's because i lost the legacy and i'm still salty about it but yeah i've kind of gotten over it so yeah that's the story about how i lost all of my legacy i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed this small little story talk highly doubt it i'll make any more videos like this but i keep on but i'll be keep on uploading many good videos and i'm gonna improve the content every day i'm gonna try my hardest and do so much better content so much better like trust me i'm working on it daily non-stop we're on that ground baby let's get it